Page 1.1 contains a diagram of the entire accounting process. Now, it's somewhat simplified, but that's why I like this diagram so well, because it gives you a bird's eye view of the accounting books that we work with. And there are three accounting books that we deal with, and it doesn't matter whether you're doing it on a computer or doing it by hand you still have those three books. In the computer system, oftentimes the numbers are being manipulated and you don't see them going in there. Whereas a manual system, you do see all three books distinguished. But it's important to understand all three books to be able to see what the computer is trying to accomplish within its little black box, okay? Now, the three books are, we have first of all the general ledger, and the general ledger has an alternative name called the final book of accounting. Now, what I'd like to do is illustrate that with this right here. Now, some of you might remember these. And how many of you remember these old peg binder systems? These were what most businesses used years ago. And there were several pu publishers. Today, there's only one. You can still get these at some of the more established office supply stores, but they're very expensive. You're looking at about $125 for that right there today, okay? But the general ledger in the computer is set up similarly in many ways. And so I'm going to illustrate it by using this old peg binder system here. The general ledger has different categories of accounts. You can see that as you look at these labels, okay? Now, I've identified them on the board behind me also, and they're on the diagram. We have assets, liabilities, and accruals and capital, okay? Now, within each of these tabs, there are a number of different accounts that we deal with, okay? What's an asset? Okay, good. Something of value. Excellent. What else? Is it something that we what? We own or getting value of, okay? And so, do you, own, do you have assets personally? Tell me what the assets are. Give me just some examples. What are some examples, descriptions of assets that you own? Okay. A car. A car. Good. That's an asset. A house. Excellent. What's that? Furniture. Uh-huh. Bank account. Bank account is something you own. Good. Okay. Land. Land. We own that too. Excellent. Now, those are some things that you own personally, and if you were to set up a full set of books, you would have a page for each of those different assets. You'd have a page for furniture, a page for the bank account, a page for the car, a page for the home, so forth. Okay? Those are all different assets that you might own. Now, a company also has, similarly, different assets, and so we have different accounts or pages within the asset section for each of those different types of assets. Okay? Now, the second category in here was liabilities. What are liabilities? Things you owe, okay? Now, do you have debts or liabilities personally? Yeah, it's just a fact of life today, isn't it? Name some of the types of debts that you might have. Mortgage, good. Car payment. Credit card. Visa, MasterCard, whatever it might be, okay? Good. Those are some good examples of debts. You might owe a... Uh, a family member, and that, that's also a debt that you'd want to record in your own personal set of books. Well, businesses have debts, too. It's a part of business. And so they would have an account or a page for each of those different types of debts to describe what their debt is. And that's all within the general ledger, okay? Now, the accrual and capital section we're going to get tomorrow, accrual is for markdown of accounts, and the capital section is to represent ownership and you'll understand that better as we get into that later, okay? But the general ledger is the final book of entry because everything flows in to the general ledger. Everything comes in and brings it together, and you'll see those arrows. Those arrows represent that important part of the process. And every company has one general ledger, okay? So how many general ledgers does Ford Motor Company have? One. One. How many general ledgers does Sheila's Bakery have? The difference is the size. General Motors, their, their general, led, general ledger, if it were on uh, uh, paper, would fill this building. Okay? 
unfortunately, it's in computer, so it saves a lot of space. But Sheila's Bakery might be a fraction of that size, okay? So it's not the number of general ledgers, but the size of the general ledger that makes the difference between size of companies, okay?